good day crafty chums it's Nikki here and this is day 13 number 13 of the um, 30 days of napkins uh, use up your stash challenge and um, as you can see it's uh, playing cards napkin and playing cards I've never actually altered a playing card would you believe it my first one ever so, uh, yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> so, I, only, I don't own any playing cards, so I just grabbed these two off my daughter from her pack of cards, which are the Jokers. So, um, I'm just roughing up the edge a bit, because, of course, this is napkin time. And uh, I don't know, because I've, I've never done it, I don't actually know. It's quite a shiny surface. So um, before I get anything to stick to it, I'm pretty sure that I've got to, like, scuff it up a bit. So I'm going to just scuff it up, and now I'm going to put some um, gesso on there. Probably don't have to, actually, but I just want to get rid of the... Um, I might, like, leave the joker on each one. Actually, and then just um, take out the uh, middle... Just go over the middle. So, so I don't know whether uh, I don't have too much of a plan. <laughs> Do you want to keep the backing so so you can tell it was a playing card? I'll just let that dry. Okay, so I've got two different napkins here, and because uh, I've got two cards, I'm going to do uh, two different napkins. <laughs> I think with this one here, I am just going to pop this on, texture and all, and uh, and then just uh, maybe just pop that like that. And let it dry then with this one oh yeah I'm just I will do some uh, Mod Podge over the top because that's the way I roll gee I don't know whether you can hear that but that's the rain on the tin roof okay Which is quite amusing that I'm putting a bird on here and it's a it's a cardinal pack. <laughs> oh yeah, the rain is coming down now. And we just made it on there. <laughs> Wasn't a very good placement by me, but never mind. Just do this very quickly. As I say, I don't mind the, um, it's very fragile, that napkin. Oh, just going to dry them off. Okay, so uh, these napkins are dry and I'm just going to take off the excess. And he just got him on there, didn't I? <laughs> yay, yay, yay. Try this one on the radiator. It's got a bit crunchy. edges just to take off the excess there
Okay. Okay. Now then, now then. I decided to speed the video up here because it, this basically is just um, laying down bits and pieces onto the playing card. So um, I've got a bit of an Alice thing going on in my head at the moment. <laughs> so I might as well continue. <laughs> so um, I've cut her out. It's a uh, sticker book that I have and so I've cut her out of the book and I'm going to um, stick her down and then I've got those little hearts as well and they'll be um, stuck down with glue as well I don't know why I've got Alice on the brain at the moment I just have lots of Alice things going on in my head <laughs> sometimes you just got to get about and down onto paper so I've, as I say I've sped up this bit um, just, just to cut down on the um, on the faffing around time <laughs> you know how it is you just faff around so I'm using that art glitter glue there AGG is everybody starting to call it <laughs> and um, Alice is going on there as well and we're going back over to the bird the bird napkin and I've decided that what I'm just going to do this one is just to highlight it and bring it a bit out a bit more off the um, back of the playing card as always with these things you you can either put it the napkin onto just ordinary white cardstock to make it stand off more from the background of what you're doing or you can actually just um, uh, doodle over them paint over them you know do that kind of thing just to bring them out as well or first off before you put them down you can actually back them with gesso on the back and it just helps to um, pop them off any background that you put them on there's lots of different ways to do it I actually like to do this method with the Posca pens because I really like my Posca pens <laughs> I don't know what it is but I actually find um, that um, it relaxes me to do it so I just like to do it and there's no better reason to create art than if it relaxes you. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's the world according to Nikki. <laughs> Take no notice of me, I never know what I'm on about. <laughs> so I'm just trying to fill in the time. Actually, before we get to the end of the video, I don't know what else to say. I'm really bad at doing voiceovers and keeping talking. Um, so yeah, just nearly finished that. Um, I... Uh, for the quotes I used, um, I can't remember what they were. Maybe I'll see it. Something like um, for Alice, I put um, time dwells here or something. Time dwells beneath here or something like that. But you'll see it at the end anyway when the video stopped. If I was really clever, I'd stop the uh, audio, go back to the end of the video and see what it says. But you'll be able to see it anyway. And um, and I think the bird one says, all, and all the birds fluttered around her, which I thought was uh, just match the the two playing cards, even though they're different. The quotes sort of match them together, I think. <laughs> of course, the time quote is because Big Ben's in the back of the picture of Alice there in London. And then the bird's quote just ties it to Alice with the word her. <laughs> Hey, tenuous link, I know. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. So there I am. It's had a little bit of time to dry, so I'm just uh, pop cutting off the excess on Alice. And I'll just do. Do I doodle a bit on her, or just go? Yeah, I'm going around the edges of her now with the Posca pen, the black one. It's a really fine nib when it's called a pin nib pen. And it uh, gives it does really fine work. So I actually really like this one, the pin nib, as opposed to the really fine bullet nib. I think I might go around the edge of the big bed there. Oh yeah, help it stand out a little bit more. Didn't do too much on this one. I thought it just looked okay as it was. Just go around the edge of the bird with the um, the bird's the word. I think it's with a uh, very fine. Yeah, verse fine black. 
I'm just putting the quote on here. I'm just doing it in pencil first just to make sure that I can fit it all in on the page. I was going to do it with my um, tape machine, but uh, they were just, I just couldn't get it small enough to go on there because it's not a fancy one. It's just a, you know a rotary tape machine, so it's not hugely fancy or anything. No altering the size of the letters there. So I just wrote in. It says in the castle of eternity, time. Oh, in the castle of eternity dwells time. That's what it says. There you go. And this one says, and birds. It says and birds fluttered around her or something like that. You'll be able to see better than I can on this small screen. <laughs> so anyway, as usual, thanks for watching and I hope you are enjoying, still continuing to, to enjoy the uh, napkin challenge that Eileen and I are doing and all the links will be in the description box below and in the doodly dads that I put around the screen afterwards. <laughs> So thanks for watching. Don't forget to, if you haven't subscribed, if you haven't subscribed already, please do. And don't forget to ring my bell to uh, get notified when I do a live stream. Thanks for watching. See you again soon. Bye.